G'day everybody, and welcome back for some more Scrapyard shenanigans uh, with my enormous piston contraption that already has one, two, three, four, eight. Uh, <laughs> I think it already has more than 20 different pistons on it, which is probably going to be fine, I think. I managed to get a little bit of it added to, but nowhere near as much as what I'd hoped. I've basically duplicated the system that I constructed at the end of the previous stream with this nested small piston design which is hopefully going to be duplicated on the other side of the hangar and the thing that I was troubling myself over and I haven't, I'm not sure I've come to a conclusion on it is what am I going to do with the carriage bit? Like, hmm, how am I going to, <laughs> how am I going to pick stuff up? Do I want to use a piston chain to pick stuff up? Or, like, I, I realized I hadn't actually thought that part of this through, which is kind of a key part of the whole thing. Part of me does want to use a hinge chain. Part of me realizes I've already got some, you know, 20 plus subgrids going on around here, plus all the other bits around here, plus all the loose stuff around here, and I'm not sure how well the server's going to handle that. Um, so I'm torn. I'm very torn. Thanks, Matcha. Thank you for 43 months. Thank you very much. Uh, but, since I haven't built the other side... I figured I should probably start building the centerpiece and then I can build the other side to attach to it. Uh, yeah, Nev, it is a shame the gantry cart uh, reliably drive on wheels. I've My experience of wheels on grids with loads that aren't centered is that they will occasionally get stuck. Uh, and when they get stuck, they'll then kick themselves up and you'll end up with a situation where the grid kind of kicks itself off its rails, which is not nice. I mean, you could probably make a gantry crane with wheels down on the ground height. That would probably be more safe rather than running on rails, in my experience. Um, but... The crane certainly wouldn't just run back and forth straight. It would need to use steering and then... I mean, I probably could have done that. Now that I'm thinking about it, that probably would have been a better solution. Uh, just make a giant... <laughs> make a giant dock crane style thing. <sighs> Alright, so I'll merge these two together first. Go grab a couple of merge blocks. No, the industrial cranes I had in the world would have been completely pointless at this. Uh, largely because they weren't designed to be functional. do I have in Space Engineers? 5,100 and something. Still less than wasted. Not that I've been checking. Totally. Never checking. <laughs> this, is, this is a style of thing I've wanted to build for a while, using the pistons as rails and seeing how it works. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Ah. Heh. That's better. Now I talk like my normal person. Do, do, do. Alright, so. 
I probably want to have some sort of... Ooh. Actually, do I want to have some sort of cockpit in here? Do I at all? Or do I want to make this a thing that I control from a control seat down at the ground level? Hmm. Interesting. Because if I don't put a cockpit on here, it should be a lot easier to put a camera in the right spot for the crane. Oh yeah, it'll look a bit jiggly. That's just going to happen. Don't worry about the jiggly. The jiggly is because this is running on a dedicated server. The jiggly doesn't matter. The jiggly only matters if you try and do what I did in uh, Escape from Purgatory, where I attempted to put um, multiple wheels next to each other. Then the jiggly mattered. Because it did not like having those multiple wheels next to each other at all. It was very unhappy with it. Alright, you know what? You know what? Where is it? Pole. It's pole. New pole. How should the gantry crane lift? Uh, pistons? Hinge chain. <laughs> Uh, I'll give you guys a few minutes to think about that. And I will do whichever you decide, because I'm torn, and it's not even sunrise, so you guys can make the decision, not me. <laughs> um, I don't think you guys more sane than me, no. Uh... I think you can be the ones to make the decision rather than me. And it looks like the decision is hence changed because it's already 79%. Oh, no. There's a shift. Um, either way, how wide do I want this centerpiece to be? Because I could make this quite narrow. Quite narrow. I mean, the there is an upshot of the hinge chain if I do a design like I did in Survival Impossible, where the hinge chain as it rolls up actually ends up more condensed than a piston setup would be. For the most part. Because, especially if I use small hinges... Downside of small hinges is that's going to be a lot of hinges, so I probably won't use small. Oh, in fact, I'm definitely not going to use small. I'm going to use big ones because I think the gantry crane will look cool if I use this mag plate, and that'll look better on the big hinges. Thanks, Max Longhall. Thanks for the prime sub. Uh, <laughs> thanks, crap bag. <laughs> there is there are some people's names who it just feels un it, it feels insulting to use them. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much, Kitsu. <laughs> thanks for the two thousand bits. Four directional scissor lift. Oh no 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 no. I've done. I've done experiments with scissor lifts before, and, uh, no. <laughs> just, just no. Uh, oh. It's, uh, 
So scissor lifts create this awkward situation. I imagine, actually, I did them pre hinges, so they're probably a lot easier to pull off now. <laughs> they're probably heaps easier to pull off now. Um, but when I did them pre hinges, so I was doing them with rotors, it was really hard to get the offsets right so that there wasn't some sort of torsional force being generated by phantom forces in it. Um, so, uh, no. Hey. <laughs> Thank you very much, Shadow. Thank you for the five gift subs and everything else. Thank you for keeping me company in my insanity. Thanks, Haber Zombie. Thanks for the Prime sub. Alright, so with only about a minute left, uh, it is 71% on hinge chain. So I'm going to start working towards hinge chain. So for hinge chain, what I'm going to need is... I think from an aesthetic perspective, I'm going to go with a 3x3 rotor. Now, unlike the system I have in Survival Impossible, in this, I don't need this to be piped. Uh, so I can use a small one or a large one, it doesn't matter. But what I probably want to do is set this higher. Or do I? How wide is this going to need to be? I don't know. I'll uh, mm, uh, 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 too many decisions. I'm going to set it a bit higher. A bit higher? Yeah. Make the center a little bit higher. Uh, oh. Just throw random blocks on the ground. That's fine. So I might go with the center here. Obviously, I'm going to have to do a whole lot of design work around this to make it look pretty at the end, but for now, this will work. Get something functional, then make it pretty when I'm working with this many subgrids. Okay, so if I were to go from up here to floor height with the smallest hinges... I'm going from one, two, three, four, five, six blocks in height. So that would be 30 small hinges or 10 of the medium hinges. I think we'll go with the medium sized hinges. Thanks, Red Rex. Thanks for 100 bits. <laughs> yes, Shadow, we insaniacs need to stick together. <laughs> and thank you, Nuki World, for 28 months. Um, what should I put in the middle? Conveyor junction? Needs to be something I've got a detachment point on. Um, oh, there's no T piece, is there? Oh. I'm gonna have to go down and get some bits. I'm trying to decide what block's going to look right in the middle, and I, I think it'll just be a conveyor piece. Alright, I'll try the little ones. Let's see how it goes. Um, what's the worst that could happen? Go on the little ones, I want these. I don't even need to make the hinges. Like, <laughs> the, the hinges don't even need to be functional. Because the hinges aren't going to be providing any force whatsoever. The hinges are just going to be loose. Which is going to be ridiculous when I start moving the actual gantry. Because it means that the thing that I'm moving is going to swing. <laughs> it's going to swing back and forth. Um, that's going to be terrifying and hilarious. Now I see why everyone chose hinge chain. In fact, if I'd thought of that before, I would have chosen hinge chain. Oh. Oh. Hmm.
Do, do 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 doing something weird, but it'll make sense in a second. Get to place this on the back side, which I'm not sure I can. Dang it! Uh, so what I'm trying to do at the moment is attach the tiny head to the bigger small grid rotor. something in there. Be able to. That's really annoying. Um. <coughs> oh, I know how to do this. And you know, just build the thing. Do 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 do. -do. Touch. Now I can get rid of this. There we go. Totally safe. Nothing could possibly go wrong here. Let's create a bit of a roller. Um, and then start attaching hinges to it. This is going to be so silly. <clears throat> I think I might weld up these hinges as I go. I'm... I'd like them to be welded just for my own... Uh, reassurance. <laughs> just... And also from an aesthetic point of view, I'd like them to be, to be welded. What I'll probably do as I build these is I, I'll, um, once they're fully built, I'll definitely have some breaking torque on them so that they don't just keep swinging forever, even though that might be funny. Yeah, the cylinders have side mounting points in the middle of the block. So if you've ever placed a, cylinder, a column like that and then you place a interior light on there, They've got a mount point for that interior light, which means you can place flat things on them as well. <laughs> Roll it up as I build it. Okay. Yeah, that might make some sense. Although, that's assuming I've done good maths in terms of figuring out how long it needs to be. So, five... 10, 15, 20, 25, 31, 2, 3. Okay. 33. Toggle off. Uh, hinge. Chain. Sure, no stents are on. But you go. So for down. No, I kind of want it. Weird. Why well, I wasn't happy to do that bit. No, oh, that works. No, not jetpack. Crouch. Um. Ah, come on. 
So how many have I done? Five? Oh, this is going to take a long time. Now you see why I use time lapses in Survival Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So, yeah, that's five. Six. Come on. No, don't be like that. Don't be the jiggle. No, stop with the jiggle. Makes it really hard to place anything. Um, yeah, so Survival Impossible. Updates on that. Updates are... I'm... Working on some tutorials and then... It's next thing I want to do. After the tutorials. Kind of thinking this would have been easier if I'd just not switched the hinges off. Because I think it... I think it's making this more jiggly than it would have been if I'd left them all on. <laughs> uh, what I should have done is built them out in a line and then let them all go and swing. that'll be the easiest way to access them uh, once I get some more large steel tubes no the small road ahead is not the cause of the jiggle the cause of the jiggle is everything everything is the cause of the jiggle the whole combination of mess that I've created here is the cause of the jiggle On a scale of 1 to Clang, where does the hinge chain rank? Um, it's, it's probably... I'd put it at like a... an 11 on a 12 point scale. <laughs> it's, it's not good, but it's not, it's not the worst thing I've done. I think hinge chain on a mobile vehicle is the worst I've done. That's the most dangerous. Although this is certainly getting up there, because I don't think I've ever built anything on stream or on a video with this many subgrids in one local area. Could be a problem. <laughs> Ooh, that was close to falling off. Trot, I would be interested to see <laughs> what your results are of this. Thanks, Nova Chaos. Thanks for the prime sub. Space Engineer's nunchuck. Yeah. I mean... Considering I built a trebuchet... A functional trebuchet back when we didn't have hinges... I probably should give that another crack now that we do. It was a lot more difficult with rotors. Just because everything had to be attached sideways. is that? How far are we along? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Lucky 13! Would hinges even have enough torque? These hinges don't need to have any torque. 
the thing that needs to have torque to do lifting in this situation uh, is this rotor. Which is why I'll be putting... Oh. I forgot a thing I did in Survival Impossible that I probably need to do here. This probably needs to be large grid. Wait, let me just check something. What is your maximum torque? 1,000 mega newton meters. Yours is... 1 mega newton bit. Oh, drat. Dang it. That's annoying. I think I might need to replace that with a large grid one. We'll see. I may need to get that extra torque. It may not be enough to have 2 mega newton meters between that rotor and the one that'll be on the other side. Hinges even have enough torque for a catapult. Well, that's why you make a trebuchet. Then the hinges don't need torque. Because it's all generated by the... Um, the countermass. Counterweight thing. Uh-oh. Okay, on a scale of 1 to Clang, I think I might have just hit Clang. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Uh, whoops. Apparently, it looks like my server's fine. It looks my like my local game crashed, but the server's fine. Which is odd. And actually the first crash I've had with this scrapyard safe. Lost connect. Oh, maybe the server is down, actually. It didn't, it didn't give me a thing. What's the last thing on the server? Oh no, now it's good. Uh oh. Thanks, Tux. Thanks for a year. Um, space elevators. Everyone asks about space elevators. Space elevators. If you build a space elevator in your game, it's the only thing you're going to build. Um, which is why I don't build them. Because, uh, I mean, it's been done. They... They're an enormous construction that's so big, the game physics start breaking. At least if you build it on a normal planet, not on a moon. And you basically can't have anything else in the game or it'll just not work. So that's, for those wondering, that's why I've never bothered doing a space elevator. And the closest thing I've done was a gravity launch elevator on the moon where I used multiple gravity gens to launch something at terminal velocity straight out into space. Worked really well too. Here we go. Should be getting close to 20 now. Despite the current 
springiness of it. This is actually easier than it was when I was rolling it up. It's about to rest on the ground too, so it should be alright in a sec. There we go, now it's more stable. Hey, move, move. Why did I run out of large steel tubes before I run out of the rest of the stuff? Um, I don't think there's anything to do to optimize the launch chair, launch chair to be honest. The, it's... The launch chair, for those unaware, is my catapult, my space catapult in Survival Impossible. Um, it's kind of as good as I think it can be. It hits its target from 50 plus kilometers away. So it's fine. See it hitting the roof as it rolls up? I, I don't think so. I think I've got plenty of room for that. Actually, you know what? I'm going to overstate my confidence on that just so that when I'm wrong, <laughs> it's more amusing. I am 100% unequivocally certain that this will not hit the roof as it rolls up. Now, everyone's hoping it hits the roof. I mean, it's supposed to hit the floor, but uh, obviously it's not supposed to hit the floor when it's rolled up. It's supposed to hit the floor when it's unrolled, is how it's supposed to work. Get on the jiggly thing. I gotta count this out now. I'm not sure how close I am to the limit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. All right. I might just put five more on here and then we're good. We have a hinge chain. That is hopefully long enough. Oh, you were you thinking? So one of the reasons, so going back to the um, the drop pods that I was using to launch ores back to the planet in Survival Impossible, one of the reasons I didn't have drones or any sort of flight apparatus on those is that that takes resources that I didn't have up on the asteroid base. So they're designed to be passive pods that don't require any cobalt. And yes, it's been that long since I've been in the save, yet I still remember this stuff. That's how much Survival Impossible is stuck in my head and constantly running around even when I'm not even when I haven't been recording it for months. Um Yes, that is more stable. Yep, 
Oh, don't walk off. It's not a year, Matcha. It's nowhere near a year. I did some late last year. It is reaching a point where I'm like, hmm. I kind of left this too long. <laughs> Is this long enough? One, two, three, four, five, six blocks. I think that's long enough. Yes, indeed, Nev. It has been a while since regular service, that is true. But the last one was about four months ago. Okay. Let's do this thing. So what I'm probably going to want to do is put some sort of breaking talk on these right away. So I'm going to guess something like... 1500 newton meters might be about right. We'll see. And now we paste the setting to everything. Oh man, I love build vision for this. Okay, are they all done? Looking good. Okay. Rota, can you do the thing? Here he goes. I don't know why this has ended up going upwards, but I am going to turn off auto lock. Ugh. The coils look magnificent. Oh, that's going to go over. It looks alive thanks to that breaking talk. Okay, let's start grinding these away and hopefully don't fall to my death. Hopefully. 
energy low. Unnerved. That is an apt description. It's living engineering, that's what this is. Oh, that looks so creepy. That is so cool. I love that it moves so slowly like it's in molasses. Okay, now we go up. Stop. Oh no, it's going to go over again, isn't it? <laughs> okay, I have too much talk on these. Closes that to the ground. Mm. Kind of love it. All right. So what I'm going to do <laughs> is go hinge chain. Let's drop this to 500. Nope. 200. Try that. It probably won't straighten until I get it all to move again. So I apply some external force. It's probably just going to sit as it is. Oh wait, let's put breaking torque on this so when I stop it, it stops immediately. Honestly, despite the stupidity of a lot of elements of this, it actually is the most compact way, even in Space Engineers, to make a crane like this. Like, that coils up so much tighter than any piston nest that I could build would do. So I can lift stuff much higher with this crane as a result of building it this way. <laughs> Shadow, you're evil, and I like it. Surprisingly stable. Kind of cool. Okay, that might have been a mistake. <laughs> I 
I do love it as SA tries to work out what the heck is going on here. Energy low. I still think there's too much. Um. Too much breaking talk on it. Although it, it honestly could be that there's... It's not that there's too much breaking talk, it's just that the physics simulation stops doing all the things and can't do them so as quickly as it should. In fact... No, nah, sim speed's still 1.0. Okay, okay, okay. I'll do that. I will almost fall on the ground, but yeah, let's get rid of all the breaking talk. I don't know if I, I can't remember if I put breaking talk on the one in uh, Survival Impossible. It had fewer ch it had fewer links than this. Ooh, what's going to happen as I try and unravel this now that it's folding in on itself? Oh, that bit in the middle is not good. About to get a sudden drop. How do I get the chain to stay rolled up neatly as it unro unravels? I mean, it should it should do so when there's something heavy on the end, because the end will kind of pull it straight. In fact, that might be why the Survival Impossible one worked better. Because it has the drills on the end, so it's effectively heavy on the end. That's probably why. Yeah, it is still wobbling slowly. I, th I think the physics system just doesn't quite keep up with these all being free-flowing. <laughs> Which, I think we all knew this was going to be pushing things to the limit. It's a bit expected. True, that is a good point. When you bring it up, don't bring it up so far. That way you've got more, per more um, perpendicular weight to keep it all in position. Probably stop when it's about at this position. That should keep it nice and fairly tightly coiled. What heavy blocks do I have around for a test? Well, I've got the, I've got the, um, I've got station batteries. They're relatively heavy. Uh, right. So, in theory, what I should be able to do now is just set up park so that I can move all this, even as it's currently set up. Uh, but what I need to do to do that is label all these pistons so that they match. 
so I know which are which. Okay, so these will be uh, gantry. Energy low. Let's just call them lateral piston. Sure, why not? That'll work. Maybe. Because all of these should be able to move as a singular group. Um, the annoying thing is going to be copying all of the settings to all of them. As in the... Um, custom data settings because that has to be done block by block and can't be done with build vision okay, so that's all those ones then we need to label these ones oh, I should have just called it X or Y um ah rail thank you Oh, hang on. These ones need to operate opp oppositely to opposite to one another. So this needs to be piston plus. This can be piston minus. So one nice thing about the way I've done this, which I hadn't intended, but I just realised. <coughs> With how far this crane can travel, I could actually set up an offloading area down here that's set below the height of the rest of the hangar, where my truck drives in, the gantry crane can lift off and then just dump onto that flat area, because there's so much space here. Uh, right. This out. And that should do. Got a programmable block around here somewhere. Oh, I did build it. Cool. Alright. Base PB Park. Now there is an update to the park script, which I asked Trekkie to see if um, they could make it, and it should turn off pistons when they're not in use. So hopefully we'll get less background noise from just cranes sitting idle. <laughs> Stupid cough is so annoying. Hey, X guy. I know, I do, I know I'd have to turn on that feature. So if I go to edit... Try it. We'll try it for this one. Energy critical. Where's 
survival kit. Sorry, Shadow, I'm just practicing my old man cough now that I'm somebody's old man. Oh yeah, true, I do need a camera from up there, don't I? Should probably add that. Oh. Why didn't I do that before I got rid of the scaffolding that was allowing me to walk out there? Uh, I'm gonna have to do more. Uh, let's go be a Thibbets for a camera. I should do the camera before I uh, worry about the script. I think what would help with the cough is if I didn't have to deal with winter. Yeah, I don't think I want to walk off the side there. It seems dangerous. I think something about here will be safe, uh, will be close enough to be practical. No, I think I'll stick with this. Just want to get rid of any potential obstruction here. Uh. Uh. Oh, nice. With how with the size of that coil, I can quite easily put like rails that run around the outside of it to join the two sides together. Oh, cool. All right, script time. So the group, the group will be gantry. Wait, uh, the group will be. All the gantry lateral pistons, all the gantry rail pistons. All the... Wait, I'm going to start with the hinge chain. <laughs> there are more of them than there are the pistons. Yeah, because control shift doesn't work. For multi-select. And I didn't call the hinges anything that had gantry in it. Wait, the hinges don't need to be included in this group. What am I doing? Hinges are passive. Okay, where do I want to put a control seat for this? I reckon... Um, I don't just want something on the ground, because that's just a bit meh. I reckon I want something down one end. Where, in theory, I could use direct line of sight from the cockpit in first person to see most of the area it can go to. So I reckon something under here. Or something the far end, but I reckon this end. Uh, I could do... Attached to the magnet. No! Thanks, XE6! <laughs> uh, <laughs> thanks for the 200 bits. I'm glad you think it's awesome. I'm, I'm glad to build another hinge chain. They're fun. Let's see if this is going to work. So what I'm thinking is if I can get um, maybe this will be better. 
that under there, and then up the top I'll put a helm. So I've just got to be able to walk up there. Put it on a piston to lift it up and down. <sighs> there's a part of me that's tempted, and then there's another part of me that remembers that I probably need to be able to drive underneath this. piston will make that more difficult. attach here, which is probably going to be one of these. Except I don't have an interior plate, apparently. And for anyone wondering why I didn't build a ladder, because then I'd have to weld up the whole thing, and it's really hard to do. One of the real um, unfortunate points about ladders in Space Engineers is you can't build a ladder while on a ladder, which means you can't use ladders to go to places you haven't been yet. Which kind of sucks. Okay, then we go... Helm. And then maybe I'll be able to build the railing on the side. I'm not sure. I've... I don't think Control G would work on a ladder, no. Because you... Never tried? What did I try? I don't remember whether I tried that or not, but I don't think it works. Control G allows you to build from a cockpit. So you can place blocks from inside a cockpit. Um, so this is going to be gantry crane helm. We're going to grab gantry crane park and we're going to add that helm to it. the name of the group. Here we go. Thanks, Commander Ben. Thank you for four months. And thank you, Amaru, for 35 months as well. The the salvage style of play is a lot of fun. Like, it, it's... What I really... What I'm really enjoying about this, about what I've done here, is that I've been able to have this much fun, and I haven't shot a. Well, no, that's not true. I did shoot one bullet just to break something because I couldn't reach it. But I haven't had to do fighting. I haven't had to have threats. I could just get to build and do crazy things. And honestly, to me, that's space engineers. It's not. The other stuff is not so much. What I want. It, 
it's it's a weirdly chill way of playing that's still really fun. Uh, have we got info in here yet? Yes. Okay. So, lateral piston. From this perspective, I would like right to be positive. So we'll go 0 0.05 and negative 0 0.05 for the other way. The reason I've got that so slow... Actually, I can, there are eight of them. So that'll move it to 0.4. Yeah, that's probably fast. Oh, maybe I'll go 0 0.1. 0.1 will be okay. It would appear, judging by the sounds in the background, that the um, pistons turning on and off might be worse than the pistons staying on. Because they are turning repeatedly on and off. But that could be because I haven't set up the script fully yet. I'm not sure. We'll see. Set up all these lateral ones. Yeah, everything jiggles here. That's <laughs> that's just how it is. Uh, okay. Negative. So. For the negative ones, because they're going away from where the helm is, on forward, I want them to go minus zero point. There are four of them, so we'll go minus zero point two and point two for backwards. Nope, that is point five. That is a wrong number. And then we'll flip this for the ones on the other side. And then minus, and then copy. Okay, that should be good. Recompile. There we go. They settled down. Perfect. PB ownership set to nobody. What? No, it's not. Owner is me. It's working! Check it out! Oh, that's so cool! This is so cool. <laughs> it is like a claw game, yes. And then the only other thing I'd want to maybe set up would be the multipliers. Oh, I also need to set a control for the rotor that controls the hinge change. Uh, which is... This one, I think. Yeah, it'll be that one. Um, so I want to turn that off. And I want to set the velocity to three. 
I want to go... That. And we go... Toggle on off. And reverse. So that goes up. And I shouldn't have gone up. I think I'm going to need to put a physical block in the way so that it can't go up too high. So I can avoid this happening. Now, the camera... Oh, that's probably not a bad idea, Nev, to put the rotor on control on park, actually. That is a very good idea. Rather than having it on the hotbar, where I have less control. Let's do that. Uh, where's the grabber? Let's fix that up. Okay, so we grab... Catch a crane park... What do I call it? Gantry... Hinge roller or something? It's chain roller. Save. Maybe... Recompile. Custom. Okay, so I've got forward, back, left, right, and then I can do Q, E for roll. So if I wanted to go down, I think I'll put that on E, so that would be roll right. So roll right should be 3, and roll left should be minus 3. Hear it. Hello? Huh. Sounds like pistons are going. Why are pistons going with Q and E? The maglock says ready to lock, it's not locked. Helps if I put the block on, doesn't it? Then we can move around. Uh, the groups are named differently on my truck versus this, so the script shouldn't be uh, working across the two. This works. Sweet. Oh no, the camera's around the wrong way. I want the camera mounted the other way, not this way. Ah, oh, dang it. I don't think anything is within the grabbable area of this crane at the moment, but successfully functional crane. 
just gotta have a quick look at what the multiplier controls are so I can move more quickly. Because I can't remember them. <laughs> Edit. Malt ratio sets the multiplier. Okay. So I want base. So we go run malt two. Run malt one. And now we move a bit more quickly. really happy with this. It's obviously <laughs> it's obviously a very unnecessary contraption because it doesn't reach very far uh, but it does do some things that are kind of nice and it does them potentially easier than any other device which is quickly offload the truck because I just come down on something, grab it, move it. Grab it, move it, grab it, move it, and I don't have to worry about wheels and tipping and all that sort of stuff. So in theory, it should do one job much quicker than any other device that I could build to do it. Yeah. And then all I've got to do at some point, when I eventually get the time, is build the piston contraption on the other side so it looks like it's supported from both sides. Rather than building it like it's a space engineer's thing. Uh, yeah, I'll probably do like hazard line markings for paintwork on for where the crane's effective area is. should do though I think is I've got a few GPS's marked of where some stuff is around here and I've got my large Atmos I still need to get more hydrogen thrusters because I've still only got the one and I also haven't jumped on here and do I don't remember jump dumping that on top of my fuel collection whoops I still haven't drained my tanks, but I think it might be time to do some collection of stuff. Actually, no, no. I'll do that shortly. What I want to do first... Oh. I don't have all that... Oh, no, I do. They're just all spread out across the place. I've got to say I don't have all that many steel plate. Um, channels on the camera? Well, I do not know what you're talking about. Whatever you want, Mavalite. <laughs> it's hard enough to think up my own challenges. <laughs> if you've gotten to space in this and you're wondering what to do next, I don't know. Unfortunately, I don't have any good ideas. That is annoying that there is a lip there. I may eventually replace... I think I'm going to have to redo these bits. with something a little more expensive to build. But which has the non-repeating pattern. Although I'm not going to be able to replace it all. And I 
may have just ground out too much. Because what I was going to do was this. So these line up properly with the other blocks and don't get the repeating armor pattern. We're going to have to move that solar panel. Hey, Orsa. Thank you for 25 months. Just over two years. Twitch sent me an email the other day about we're going to remind you when your partner anniversary should thing is. I'm like, okay, thanks. I just thought I'd weld up some of this so we could get a bit of a feel of how this is going to look without it just being all armor frames. It is, a, it is a bit of a pity in some ways that Keen didn't uh, work out a way to have a nice gravel block instead of adding a gravel, instead of adding a concrete skin to metal blocks. That still sound like metal when you run on them. <laughs> The other reason I was thinking of doing this now was that if I realise that I don't have enough steel plate, it might be nice before I go out and collect random stuff if I know that so that I know to collect the steel plate. Um, there's no point attaching a welder to the crane. Because uh, the crane's not piped, so I'd still have to fill it up manually with parts. And it'll be quicker to do it all by hand than manually fill a welder to then move a welder around that's slower than me running around. Yeah, Takari, people have been asking for a concrete block for years and years and years. Um, there have been concrete mods in Space Engineers for a long, long time as well. It's something I'm sure Keen are aware of, but have decided not to do for one or another reasons. It's a difficult thing to balance, for one. Like, how to do it so that it's not usable for ships. Because simply just making it ultra heavy doesn't really solve that problem because then it just becomes a really good missile in space. And it'd be awkward to have... Oh, I did the wrong block. It'd be awkward to have some blocks that can't be used on mobile grids. Not that they just don't work on mobile grids, but that they can't be used. So I can totally understand why it hasn't been added, it's just would have been nice if they had figured out a way.
Yeah, Nev, I, I'm kind of with you on that. I'd prefer not to have a, another grid size. As well. <laughs> another grid size is just... No, please don't. <laughs> Um. Um. <laughs> um. That was under the ground. <laughs> Huh. Okay. Uh well this is gonna be tricky. Stop the server from running. Close it, and instance, and saves, and backup. And hope it's not too long ago. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh man I was getting away with it for so long totally capex fault Just waiting for the server to start up. Uh, the server didn't implode. I mean, the base did. The server was still running. I had to actually tell it to stop. As far as Torch was concerned, it was still all running. Yes, that would be the first death, but I'm not sure it counts. <laughs> Here we go. I literally, I grind a block. It's not even the block that's connecting it to the grid. Like, it's not the only block. I just, what the? I die mid, what the? Death, what the? then explosion. What the? 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 Oh yeah, what all the? of a sudden the, Grid off what to the, the left disappears. What the? What the? What the? Now the what weird the thing is, if we keep watching... Um... Uh-oh. When I get to spectator camera, 
I mean, it also holds me in this perspective much longer than usual. But when I get down here, and then I go to spectator cam... Um... Should happen in a second. Oh! No, it's... Dang it, it's just off the end of the clip. This bit, down in the bottom of the hole here, this is actually not a hole in the ground from the surface. This is a sphere under the ground. What the... There we go, let's see. Think. Yeah, here we go. Look at that. There's no connection to the surface. The whole truck, everything has been teleported underground into a singularity. Like, all the wheels are there. The wheels aren't even on the truck. Every subgrid has teleported itself and become a singularity. <laughs> like, what the heck? Uh. Wow. Well. I may have to use one of the scr like use a screen cap from here as my thumbnail for the VOD. <laughs> if one of them looks alright. Ah, <sighs> jeez. Yep, when you don't know why something happened, or you do and you just don't want to own up to it, remember, you can always blame Capac. Well, that's not too far back. And manageable. Now the question is, do I dare grind out that same block? <laughs> what I think I might have been doing was grinding off too many blocks at once, too quickly. And things were jiggling and updating and not... Oh, or maybe it was... I mean that. I'm doing it. Three, two, one, anti climax. There we go. Gonna do one more thing. I'd like to try and weld up more of this place. I've been really lazy about getting any of it done. And I think 
as a result, it doesn't really feel like home. It feels like a construction yard. Which is not inaccurate, but still not what I wanted. What a disappointing new reality. <sighs> I suppose... I was mentioning before the reason not to use a big crane, use the crane to drag a welder around is I'd have to fill up the welder manually. So it wouldn't really end up saving time. We'd probably actually add a lot more time. There we go. I will weld up the floor another time. <laughs> Let's not do that on stream. Uh, so, now we can get rid of this frame thing that I put here. What do I want to do next? Part of me wants to go out and look for some more scrap because I haven't. Energy low. And the truck should be pretty well powered up and good to go for that. But maybe I should take the flyer out because I haven't flown it in a bit. Because it'll be able to find stuff more quickly. And then I can go with the truck. Because what have I got? If I look at my GPS list, I've got hangar with truck. At large Atmo small grid, large cargo container, small grid, some PBs, more Atmo, service station and a tower. So yeah, I think I'm going to take the scout craft out. Ground out the floor. Twice. <laughs> All right. Oh, good. I got, was able to get out of the hole. Okay, flyer time. Oh wait, what am I doing? Um, this way. And why is the battery? Oh right, it's access denied. Cell. Two. One. Four of them. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm replacing this power cell. This um, battery. Well, replacing it, I am hacking it. mine. And I didn't lose a cell. Cheers. Yay. Okay, that worked. I'm so glad I did that. Uh, now we go disconnect thrusters on. Alright. Uh, let's cruise. Yeah, that's why I've got the lower tier grinder on my hopper instead of a drill. I don't really need a drill in this. So to me it makes more sense to um, have a second grinder. Which way do I want to go? I 
not towards the observer base. Maybe. I think the truck is 12 k's away. Maybe I go this way. Got our little painted pink thing over there. We've got some more power lines in the distance. Wonder what else is out there. Now, because I've been at the base. Oh, there we go. Abandoned settlement. Because I've been at the base, the things that people have been trying to call in to spawn um, probably haven't been working because there's so much around here already so there's nowhere for it to spawn. The thing doesn't seem to be on. Um, it does seem to be on Nav because people have redeemed it. Oh, that one's pinked. Oh, I think that's something on the far side of the canyon there. Looks like a billboard. How disappointing. Really want an assembler. <laughs> That's what I really want to find. Although, actually, if I find the hydrogen thrusters, that'll be fine too. Oh, it's the it's the special billboard. The one I made out of solar panels. It's the billboard of disappointment. Um, uh oh, not that way! Not that way! Oops. I just wanted to find out if there were any solar cells in this. It was um, misjudged, shall we say. I need to make a blueprint of a solar panel with some solar cells in it but nothing else so that I can paste it in as a deconstructed solar panel that still gives you some cells. Oh, here we go. Seven and a half kilometers this way. Let's see if I spot anything along the way. So sometime soon I need to work on a specific MES mod that I'll use during streams when I've got the um, Twitch integration stuff active so that there are some more fun things to spawn in, not just more scrap for me to find. Um, I might... I probably won't have time this coming week, but hopefully the week after I'll get a chance to sit down and do a stream where we kind of 
go through and I design a bunch of different drops that can be randomized into the poles, uh, but also specifically spawned as well. is down here. Little jalopy, what's it got in it? Have you got anything useful? You have three out my thrusters. Okay. I don't think that was the thing that got spawned in. I think that was still further away. So I'm going to keep going. Also, I figure now I'm in open ground. Again, clear of any of the previous grids. There should be something. problem. I might be going far enough from things that MES is going to despawn stuff that I've already found. Because I'm outside the 25 kilometer radius of its default settings and I don't think I've got that changed on the server. General? Sure. Yes, Kitsu, that is exactly what I made. An old van with a solar panel awning. I had really fun with it. I had fun with that design. That was, <laughs> that was a good one to make. Alright, I lost track of the other ones. So I'm going to this. Does this flyer have enough lift to bring small grids back? Probably. Probably. It's got a large ammo thruster. It'll be able to bring some... some stuff back. It's just as soon as I start doing that, it's like... I guess I don't use my crane truck anymore. Which makes me a bit sad. Thanks, Nev. All right, what's in this thing? Got some hydrogen tanks, cargo container. You just all take those. Cockpit, have you got anything in you? Nope. Take all the computers, though. 
It's really just the two small hydrogen tanks. Oh, no, another cargo container. More computers. I think I'll delete this one. I know I should... Oh, I need to take the tanks. Alright, fine. Slash GPS. Two times. Small grid. Small H2. Yeah, I'd need a fair few more batteries for a heavy lifter flyer. But I mean, I, I guess I could progress to that. It'll be sad not to use my truck, but... You guys are right, I, I do have the materials and it could be kind of fun to build that flyer and then turn that flyer progressively into my orbital launch vehicle once I find the hydrogen thrusters. Uh, would I have the materials to connect it to the flyer? I don't know if I would. Alright. Let's head home, see how many batteries I've got. Now I'm too tempted. <laughs> see if I've got enough batteries that I think I could build a heavy lifter flyer. Nope, we're going to get distracted by that, because that looks large. <laughs> Modify the truck into a flyer. Um, hmm. I don't think so, but... I probably could publish that truck on the workshop, as it is. So we've got a, a shed and a service station down there. What's in this jalopy? We have a drill. We have a battery missing five power cells, which I sort of am just short of being able to repair. Let's check if there are any power cells in here. I'll leave the large steel tubes for the moment. Motors. Oh, five power cells. Nice! Yes! Is there another one in here? Kit and plushy. Inventory full. Inventory full. Inventory full. And another event. Another welder. Alright, I'll go put this in the connector on the flyer. Then we're gonna grab these. Five power cells. Yes. That's all that fits. Uh, let's check the shed. It's in the shed. Oh. <laughs> oh. That was lucky. Um. <laughs> so there's another battery. Uh, slightly lacking in the power cell front, 
but battery nevertheless. I was lucky that wasn't the one that has the functional turret. One motor. There was a motor in one of these. All of these things that I'm finding are part of my mod that I made for Space Engineers. Let's see. You got anything good for me? Yeah. Alright, so. I need to bring... Hmm. I need to cut this loose, that's what I need to do. Because I might have the parts that I can attach this battery to my flyer right now. Can't believe how lucky I got to find a battery and exactly the right number of power cells to repair it. Denied still. <sighs> All right. Let's see how this goes. Don't mind, just try it again. Nope, still in denied. All right. Um, guess we weld it up and then I grind it down. Access denied. Let's see if I get lucky. Again. Hooray, it's mine. Oh, my. Kind of drag you. Okay. That works too. I am not running any mods that impact my grinding. I'm just being very, very careful. Uh, and advanced welding is probably playing some role in making things not owned by anybody and giving me some benefits there. Alright, so... What I need to do is merge block this on in a way that I can easily cut it off. Which means what I think I'll do is just put a simple merge block like so. And then I'll just land on the thing with a merge block on it. If I can get this thing to knock over. Tip over! Seriously? Yeah. Fine. Don't tip over then. Oh, it almost tips over just after I say that, of course. It's hard to place batteries when you can't place batteries. Yeah, now it rolls over. That's what's that's what'll happen. 
Hooray! There we go. Bonus battery! Um, cool. Slash GPS. Um, this will be... What's important that's here? I guess the battery with a few cells. Small grid. Large bat. Okay, now I can certainly fly a bit more. Put some bigger thrusters on. Is that a thing I've been to? It's a new thing. I'll check. Yeah, there's, that's a new thing. There's no GPS at it. Sideways truck. What does sideways truck have? Sideways truck has large small grid cargo container. Uh, what else has it got? Hydrogen engine. And no functional tanks. Okay. Alright, there's something up on that cliff. I might go up there. Slash GPS. Small grid, large car container. Yeah, let's go. Yes, Sideways Truck is the most intact of the trucks. Um, the version I'm playing of the mod is my test version. It's not the live version. There are some things I've changed that I wanted to see if they broke stuff. So stuff like the Sideways Truck I don't think is in the live version on the workshop yet. This is Earth-like. I feel like Earth-like doesn't get enough love these days. I wanted to play on it. I think I've spotted it. Thought it could be a tree. I think it's a tree. How disappointing. There we go, it's down there. That was kind of the idea of the Flatliner truck, was that I would hope I was hoping that it was an interesting enough design that people would want to restore it. So I'm kind of glad that you did. What? Um, because I thought that would be fun for people. So I, I intentionally made it in a way that I thought it could be almost useful. What do we have here? We have our start rover, minus a lot. <laughs> With an intact tank. An intact beacon block, which may be useful. Uh, what's the jalopy got? Medium cargo container. I've got the bits on board to rebuild that and see if it's got nothing good in it. Uh, some grids. I'll take that. 
Don't really need another medium cargo container. I've got quite a few. Uh, thing in the front. Doesn't look it. The flatliner truck is the one that was sideways that I just went past before. Uh, do I GPS this or do I just delete this stuff? I'm tempted just to delete this one. Just from a performance perspective. Oh, ice. Alright. <laughs> Why is the ice still a... Oh... I thought I fixed that. Apparently not. I should not be appearing in cockpits like this. I thought I'd fixed it for this version. Apparently I have not. I am going to have to look into that. Yep. Let's delete. Where did that bit go on the ground? There it is. Home base, this way. Oh yeah, the version that you guys are playing is not... was not fixed for the cockpits, but the version I am should be. So I'm not sure why it's doing that. So I will have to look into it. Rather than breaking everybody's save by doing updates live for everyone, I figured I was better off testing them myself and only breaking my own if I do something wrong. Because I can usually fix my own stuff. What I've done is I've accidentally mislabeled the spawn that was supposed to be for the O2H2 gen as the cockpit one, so it adds to the cockpit list, which is kind of annoying. Do we have down here? Have a turbine. We have some fences. And we have a silo. And we have a vehicle, I think. in the truck. Once I make a bigger flyer, I'm probably going to have to bring stuff like the turbines home with the flyer because I'm going to need more power. <laughs> it's a lot more efficient driving around than it is flying. Medium cargo, have you got anything in you? I was just asking chat about whether, like, what I use as a hosting thing for multiplayer. In Assertive Acquisitions, I'm actually currently local hosting that because it performs better. Because that save is pretty brutal. Um, and the server wasn't quite handling it very well, but my home PC was. Um, otherwise, I use a bare metal server that I've rented. Might delete this stuff.
fences too. Uh, there are no big ship chunks because big ship chunks would give you too much stuff. And I feel like big ship chunks don't really fit the vibe right either. I have been trying to work on a design for a, uh, like a crashed aircraft, like larger body aircraft, but limited success on that one so far. Uh, yeah, that's correct, even. Bare metal server means I've got access, like it's not some game hoster, it's that it's my own server in their setup and I've got access to the OS setup and everything. Yeah, crashed crop duster might be easier to do. <laughs> Probably should have gone for that first. My idea for space is that you'll find bigger, more generous stuff. Because once you get there, you're probably wanting to do things differently. And maybe then... And also space was meant to have more combat. No combat on the ground, but then fighty stuff in space. Oops. I did a bad. I left creative mode on. I don't get to find out what's there. Yeah, exactly, Shadow. Greater risk, more reward. That's the plan. Ooh. Ooh. On top of this one. Okay. So, in theory, uh, the version that I'm playing should have the... Um, should have some more power cells... Still rare, but slightly increased frequency of power cells to be found in cargo. But if I'm finding ice in the cockpits, I'm suspicious that update may not have made it to the version I'm playing. Ah, a little house. or is it a shed? Oh, there's a shed too. Good in here. Why can't I... Why can't I grab that ladder? I can't grab the ladder. The ladder is going to... Fold. Oh, because the other one was in the way. Let's see. Thanks, Big Blue. Thanks for the prime sub. Look up here. No. <laughs> Not really. Uh, if you're early game and you find one of these, it's useful because there's large steel tubes and motors in the kitchen. in the turret. Engine! Intact engine! That means power cell. Oh yeah. What have I got in my inventory that I don't really want? It's full. Probably get rid of some of these. Taking that power cell. Eh, 
Eh, I suppose I'll take the ammo. And then I might delete all this. Uh, so another change I've made to the version when I publish this will be uh, slightly fewer vehicle wrecks and slightly increased uh, building wrecks because it seems like the balance was a bit pushed a bit too far the other way. So people were finding that they were getting tons and tons of vehicles but never actually managed to get anything as a large grid spawn. Which wasn't my idea. You can not get power cells from grinding batteries. You can get power cells from grinding engines though. Oh, why is it always behind me? <laughs> I'm trying to get home. So many distractions. I can't ignore these though, because I, I do need more batteries for this thing. Or if you're talking about the thing that I put in Discord about where I'm saying, give me grids if you... and I might consider adding them to the scrapyard. Oh, that's just power, power lines. That's unfortunate. Um, anything. Anything. Because... If I don't like it, I'm just not going to add it. So for those wondering what I'm talking about, um, if you go to my Discord server and you go here, there is a channel here of where I'm letting people submit their workshop links. The description of what I'm after is at the top. There's a very high chance that I'll look at things and go, yeah, no, I'm not adding that. Um, like I'm not particularly after military vehicles. More civilian stuff is what I'm more interested in. And if it doesn't suit the style of things that I've built and put in so far, I won't be including it either. Uh, unlike what I did with a, the a set of cargo ship submissions where I tried to modify things to fit, if it doesn't fit, I'm just not going to do it because it's unsustainable for me to try and make everything fit. Uh, and that was a mistake I made with that one. Uh, but if you got questions, there's a little help thing that people have been talking stuff in. So yeah, feel free to submit stuff and hopefully on stream I'll add some of the ones that I like. Well, Shadow, it's the first message. It should be just as easy to find as a pin. Because it's literally the first message in the channel. I am going to dare to do this. anything good in these cargo containers. Uh, yeah, there's probably a small battery somewhere on here. On that one up there. I'll go check it in a sec. 
This looks to be all that I wanted from that one. It's in the back. It's in the front. In the front is a tiny, a pair of tiny batteries. Yeah. In the back is an O2H2 gen. I think an oxygen tank. Yes. I probably don't need those. Um. Yeah. Oh, what? Mustn't have replaced this grid yet. So, I've also got a replacement version of these, which have light armor panels on the sides, not heavy. Uh, so that this isn't, like, the mother load of grids. Uh, I've got an O2 tank back at base. down here. This little valley. Is it pink? It is not. What have we got? Something to automate turning off creative mode if you forget, yeah. That would be handy. What's in here? Gyro, some batteries. Oh, this is old! This is a very old spawn that I just hadn't found yet. Huh. Um. Hmm. So that one had a hinge in the ground previously. Flushy. Okay, that's all here. Uh, I can build timer blocks, so I don't need to worry about those. I'm pretty sure I can. Timer. Yeah, I left timers on. I thought timers would be annoying to not have. Don't need the gyro. I don't really need the little batteries. I'll just mark this as a um, small grid PB. And away we go. What is down here? Whatever it is, it is very small. There are... The event controller is rare, and yes, it is currently only small grid. It's like... Wait, what? That's a bush. Where's the grid that's here? Whoa? Getting phantom signals. Huh. 
Weird. Very weird. Hey, agreeable loaf. I'm good. You know, the usual tired you'd expect of a small human occupying much of my time. around this time. Oh. <laughs> I think this might be an old grid that exploded. Let's get rid of that. In fact, I think that might still be partly in the ground. I find the time to stream play and edit it's my job which is really lucky um because it means that <laughs> i i have a very good reason to spend time on it is also very lucky, obviously. <laughs> okay, back at base. Now let's have a look at what equipment I've got, what equipment I might want to make this a heavy lifter. Because it would be nice to be able to just pick up a chunk and bring it back and collect stuff at base this way rather than having to make all these GPSs and that being kind of annoying that way I can fly around I can remove I can pick up something delete the rest of the stuff at that spawn and then go back to base though when am I going to use my gantry crane then oh <laughs> kind of need to use my truck if I want to use my gantry crane uh, poop what have I done you mine. You're mine. I have another battery. Oh, actually, I mean, I could, I could have a, <laughs> I could have a grinder pit. I drop stuff in with the gantry crane, I guess. <sighs> yeah, the trucks for the big stuff that I can't pick up, I guess. So I have another battery, which I will definitely want to add to the flyer if I'm going to make it heavy lift capable. Um. I'm not going to do a capac and put solar panels on a flyer because that's daft. Uh, have I got any other batteries over here? I think I've got little ones, but little ones aren't really worth it. Their mass to power ratio is not in favour of them being useful. I've got you, which needs six power cells. I might have enough power cells for that, actually. Uh, Ubi, the cranes... Some of the cranes have been like that the whole time. Thanks, it's Infusion. Thank you for 17 months. And thank you. I don't need to carry a drill. I'm getting rid of a drill. Um... So... Do I repair this battery? Yeah. Let's do it. That's what the power cell's for. Is that a small battery with a br bright pink magnetic plate? It looked like a huge bottle of lip gloss from the corner of my eye. Um, 
Yes, it was, Shadow. Yes. Oh no. I think I'm one power cell short. Oh. Oh, poop. Hell in the hole. Well, I got five from the service station. I thought I had four here. Uh, and then I thought I got a fifth from the engine that I got in that shed, but I must have only had three here and then got a fourth. Which is why I'm still one short. But what I could do now is add this battery and then add one of these thrusters as an extra lift thrust. And then I'll have something that's cobbled together and bigger. This command still works. There you go, Mickey. Uh, I'm not going to build with something hanging from the crane. That would be a very bad idea. That is definitely going to clang out. Let's see if I can repair one of these fully. Okay. That's good. Sort of need a crane. Thinking, 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 thinking. If I bring... Yeah, if I do this. Bring this over here. Ooh. That doesn't really work either. Such a pity. It's about to say I could. Oh wait, we got a bit closer. Oh, I know what I can do. Probably not what I just did. Uh, whoops. What I was going to do is add a mag plate to the bottom of this. Grab the thruster, bring it over to the crane, then use the crane to manipulate it onto this flyer. Unknown signals are apparently glitched and... There's not much I can do about that. Do. That's what I wanted to do. Okay. Um, should probably detach this battery and reattach it a bit closer. <laughs> Since I've got the crane to do that now. And I might be lazy and use weld pads. Plenty of computers.
Yeah, I don't think the unknown signals being broken is a me problem. I think it's an automaton's update problem. Uh, we need to unlock from the base because this is really hard to do from locked. Oh, oops, put the handbrake on then. Okay, so if I'm going to weld that on that way, I will need to grab it from this side. Sure. Okay, what's my what's my gentle control? Did I actually even set one? I don't remember if I did. No! <laughs> Come back! Uh, there we go. Oh wait, that thrust is in the way. This can't work like this. Uh, that's going to have to be different. I think I know what I'll do. Well, that's not how I expected that to go. <sighs> See you, Nev. Have a good one. to the ground. Okay. <laughs> this is getting silly. Uh, what am I doing? That'll do. Gotta be getting close now, right? I'm just massacring this thing. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, I really need to set up this multiplier control again. Um. 
Because I am way too aggressive. Alt one. Alt three. Okay. That's a bit nicer. There we go. <sighs> That's all I had to do. I don't know why the thruster keeps showing up as not owned by me, even though I've hacked it multiple times. Whoops. Nothing's going wrong here. You didn't see anything. I didn't do anything wrong. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. That was all part of my plan. Totally not kicking stuff around that's really expensive. Alright, merge blocks or weld pads. So I was thinking of just slapping this on the side of the other thruster. Yeah, probably that side makes the most sense. Yeah, it could be worse. It could have imploded into the ground again. That is true. And it, I'm also thinking that the gantry crane and this crane as a combo, if I can park it nearby or in the area where the gantry crane can be, they're still going to be required for building the, uh, the heavy lift flyer. So that's good. I was really worried I was obsoleting them too soon. Whoops. That was the wrong button to press. Turned off all my things. Okay, which access do I need to fix? That one. Then... Oh. So close. Come on. Don't be like this. Ninety eight point five per cent, hundred per cent, and zero meters. Come on, that's gotta be enough. <laughs> Is it 
So my worry with moving the flyer is that uh, this will clang, but sure. It'll definitely clang if I put the thrusters on over, right? If I put... The there we go. Thrusters on normally. No dampeners is the safe way. Weirdly. Worked. I have an excessive amount of lift now. Okay. Uh, now I need to get this... Uh, this other battery on. Because when I go up, I'm using 55%, so that's okay. But if I put another battery on, I can then have another thruster. If I've got enough materials to make another thruster. Let's see. I'm going to guess that I'm out of motors. Okay, this kind of makes me happy. <laughs> I know it probably shouldn't. Uh, but it does. I don't have enough motors to do this. So there's no point adding the extra battery, really. Um, because I've got enough power output for the two thrusters. The only reason for the extra battery would be to get more duration of that power. Um, which I suppose is probably worth doing. I'm thinking I might try and attach it here going forward. I'm trying to keep this thing relatively compact. But if I've just used up all my motors I may not have the parts I need. Wait. Why have I got 11 motors and yet I didn't to pull them out and not weld it. Okay. We can make that work. Let's do it. Shove the battery down there. A little bit farther. Come on. Closer to the crane. Closer. Closer. There we go. Hey, Euro. Yeah, battery. Battery, soccer, or football. Depending on your preferred term. Always good value. I think this time I can use a small merge block there. Then a small merge block there. Should line up. So, yeah, also, yes, I probably could have a lot more stuff than I currently do. Um, but there's something that I refuse to do on stream, which is grind down every single part of every single thing I find. Um, Kapak and I did that when we were playing Escape from Mars years ago. And editing around that stuff was annoying. Because <laughs> it was so much time we spent with that. So the idea of making you guys sit through that on stream, just, just no. So much no. Oops. I will, during um, times when I'm like chatting very actively, get completely distracted from what I'm doing and do stuff like welding stuff by hand while not really thinking about it. But grinding down a whole big structure every time I find one. Nah. I don't want to do that. Hey, 
Okay, we are locked. Hold this thing from above. So then I'll go this way. This way. Oh, there, that's working. Yes, the boring stuff is supporter only content, sure. <laughs> Trying to get this close so I can use the fine controls. I'm getting near ish, but not really. Uh, nope. I'll do that and use that for the last little bit. Merge blocks are showing up yellow. Is it time to to attempt the capac maneuver? I just let it go and see if it works. Yay! Success. Thanks, my golly. Thanks for two months. And collapse the crane. So satisfying. Not want to stand where I was. This would have crushed me in a second. And down. There we go. Oh, nuts. That is just in line with this thruster. I'm going to have to move that thruster. Ugh, that's annoying. It's a weird way that this grinds down. Truck doing a happy dance, yes. Oh boy. The truck is doing quite an aggressive happy dance. was not um not that was very uh concerning pick you up i can't oh i can no not quite all right back to the crane we go When the, cr when the truck is rocking, don't come anywhere near because it'll probably explode. No. 
I've made improvised experimentation too weak for me to pick up the thruster. Which was on purpose. This should be fairly straightforward. If I can get this crane down there neatly. I I think that the the default settings for improvised engineering are just way OP. Kind of get why the author would have done it that way, but because otherwise people would be like, I can't do anything, it doesn't work. But, yeah, for my purposes, super over overpowered. Okay, just nudging it in there. Then let's try. But, nope. Ah. Close. I'm trying to see if I can get a view on this. There we go. that's getting close come on come on I see you getting your thing up on my HUD May attempt this again, but I still think it's dangerous. Especially since I don't have thrust control in all directions. Oh, I think I know what's wrong. The landing gear is wrong. I picked it up too high. Nuts. Crane is in the way. Oh wait, yeah. I've got a I've got my forklift. I should use my forklift for this. You'd be able to do this just fine. Oh poop. Well, there goes the thruster. Uh no longer heavy lifter. Uh, right. No, don't topple over. Nah. I need a, re a thing to rest on. Why is this battery still smoking? Because I don't have the power cells to repair it. Uh, I'm pretty sure I included the the thing to make tar interior turrets less evil in this. Yes. Steel plate.
Au. I don't think I have enough motors between the stuff I've got to repair another thruster, so I think I'm down a thruster. I now have three batteries to one thruster. Nope, don't tip it forward. That was close. <laughs> I wanted this to lift it up, not tip it forward. Ugh. to do was give myself enough room that I could place a silly thing under there so that I've got something to rest on. No. It won't let me do that. I think if I sit here I should be able to go grab the forklift. Pick up that thruster and stick it back on. I can make that easier if I put steel plate sticking out from it. Now I should be able to line this up and do it this way. Oh, and it's around the wrong way. Ugh. It's annoying. <laughs> Nothing is working right. No. Spin, don't roll. Spin. Spin. Come on. Spin. Spin. Yeah. It's better. Okay. Line myself up to it again. Box down. Just got to line myself up to the lifter. I believe I wiped out the whole large thruster. I actually got really lucky there, to be honest. Um, not wiping out more any of my batteries. Because I could have easily wiped them out. And I did not. One of the big reasons to not build a flyer is this. Yeah. You crash your flyer, you lose some really important stuff. Is one of the risks with a flyer. Can't merge, some blocks would overlap. What? It's 
a camera on there. Hooray! I'm now not going to cook that battery. I might break it through crashing, but I'm not going to cook it. And it rests level, which is also a bonus. Um, right. What do I have lying around here? So, for this thruster I need 86 motors. Um, probably do have some motors in some of the stuff lying around here. But I think that's my cue to go searching for more. I don't know why there's an unfinished camera, actually. I have no idea. Alright. GPS. We have small grid, small H2, small grid, small Atmo. Hang on, right. Large Atmo, small grid. Alright, let's go there. Let's go grab that other large Atmo. Um, we need a way to grab onto things. Plate. And we have a way to use it. I don't know why there's a camera in there in the first place. That's why I haven't rebuilt it. I don't remember adding a camera. <laughs> But I do need to add, I do need to get rid of it so that I can replace. Oh, there's a sensor there. It's not a camera. Oh, the sensors. Yeah, I know why the sensor's there. The sensor was from the um, unknown signal from which this came. It's the sensor that makes it roll. It's for this. Oh no, this needs motors. I've still got enough on my person. That I do. out the radius and there we go yes the rolling and jumping ones can be annoying but also can be lucrative because thrusters and gyros okay so we've got large cargo kind of small grid small atmos large atmos small grid too this way Um, yes, you probably could use the defense controller to increase the aiming radius on the block, on the, this turret. I don't know whether it would matter though, because I'm not sure it'll target something that's outside its actual max range. 
I don't know whether it'll point to it at two and a half k's away or whether it'll just only do it when it's inside its own range. Well, this is pink. I'm going to delete it. After I grab some motors. <laughs> the motor that's on it. The solitary motor. I did clear my inventory, yes. There's now something just beyond where I'm going for this large Atmo. Hello. That's not pink. I might not have been here. I am going to let myself get hello. There's a bunch of wreckage over there too. Um, yeah, definitely time to get sidetracked. Liner is um oh carrying batteries and what's this carrying motor cargo container Perfect. Nothing. Grab the motors out of that cargo container. Not sure how this is going to be best retrieved, but it's not going to be with the flyer. <laughs> uh, slash GPS. Three... Uh, let's go, let's restructure the way I'm doing this. Small grid, large, small grid, large, batch, times three. Oh yeah, and this must be, this is a new spawn. As you can see, the railings are now all light armor panels. They are not heavy, so there's no grids everywhere. Um, so we'll leave that, now that I've marked it. Let us continue. Fly it back. I mean, drive it back. Uh, I want to get that big Atmo thruster that I came out here for, so... Maybe on the way back I'll do that. Or maybe I'll come back out again and do it. This looks like it's already pink, unless that's my light. Nope, my light is pointing backwards. This is already pink. Alright. Yeah, plop it on the trailer. <laughs> Hole. In fact, it's so close to base, that's probably what I should do. This one's down in the hole, so I think it's perfect for the lifter to pick it up. this thing up. Up on the hill, eh? Try and remember that. Yeah, 
Out of the way. Go on. I'll do. Read on friendly. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Now I can do it. Okay, now we'd be really delicate. Dampeners on. And... Lock. And there we go. One ammo thruster. Uh, and the grid that spawned was over this way. I'll quickly check it out. There is a basic assembler that you can find that is out there. That's all. Because there's no space-based stuff yet. Space, I'll unlock. I'll let, it, let everything be there, but I'll also me make it so you have to fight for it. Which means you can always go back down to the planet to avoid the fighting. Up on here, wasn't it? I think it was. Was it over there? It might have been over there. I think I see something over here. Yeah, there should be enough ammunition and things on planet that you don't need that you'll have ammunition by the time you go to space huh. I don't see the thing that I that spawned while I was down there I could have sworn it was on one of these head least like upper bits Nope, you don't need more Gatling ammo loot because you, if you find the right parts, you can convert it into, you can convert the other ammo into Gatling ammo. And that's what makes the basic assembler useful. Oh well, I think wherever it is, to be found another time. I'm just going to check if that thing's a bush or something else. It's a something else. Did go roughly in the right direction at first. I have no trust in myself. Forgot that was on the front there. That's going to make taking off awkward. Uh, we got an engine with nothing in it. We got a connector with six motors in it. I'll take that. Thank you. Inventory full. Yes, I've always had an intention to continue Survival Impossible. Oh, that's a lot of programmable blocks. Oh well. Inventory. Taking all the good bits. I think that's it. Onward bound, let's go.
That's a few motors I've got. 27, 33. It's not bad for one little trip. Yes, and a few missiles as well. Get rid of this GPS, or at least rename it to Highway. I might take the crane out, grab that truck that had the three batteries on it, and then I'll do another trip out with this to see if I can get myself enough ba enough motors to repair to rebuild one of these thrusters. This is salvage only. That's the rules. Using my scrapyard mods that I have made. Lots of blocks I can't build. That means I have to use cranes and lifters and fun stuff like that. Just let me do a whole bunch of stuff that normally I just do because I want to, but then this it makes necessary. Yeah. I think... I think there are a few things I need to adjust with regard to the uh, small and large... Atmos out there. <laughs> I think I need to reduce how often you can find the large Atmos more than I need to do anything to reduce the amount of small Atmos you find. I think this one's the most built up of the lot. Yep. Oops, didn't mean to press escape. Any motor? There's a motor in a connector somewhere else. Accessible. All right, 47 more motors need to be found. So, quite a few, but hopefully manageable. Actually, that's, that's true. It is an inconvenience of plenty. Like, it is hard to repair these to the point of functionality, so finding lots of them isn't super helpful. So, yeah, maybe it's okay. Because, yeah, the small ones are really easy to rebuild by comparison, so you can get flying more quickly than having to rebuild every one of these, which is a lot more difficult and a lot more difficult to power, too. So, yeah, maybe I'm okay with it. Thanks, Dean Ong. Thank you for 29 months. Um, right. Truck. Let's go pick up the other truck. Full power grabby hands can barely move the large thrusters. Nice. Uh, 
Um, this might be in that connector. I don't know. There's there's nothing on here that would help me build the thrusters. I should empty it out when I get back, though. I just wanted to pick up this truck before it accidentally got deleted or something, because that's, that's three batteries, um, which if I eventually find the power cells to repair them, at least I've got the battery blocks ready to go. Uh, yeah, I can't even roll the large grid, the the large small grid thrusters. Nope. I can barely roll the small ones. Which is the way I like it. I really like having the mod, I just really don't like... Um, making my cranes pointless or near pointless. Up. Swing it out. Thanks, Vansky. Thanks for the prime sub. Okay, we might uh, want to um, <laughs> reduce the multiplier while I'm handling this very heavy thing. the trees they were too afraid afraid to show up not gonna lie slightly intentionally um started myself in an area that made the scrap look good in these sort of plains areas because i think the color works with the scrap that was deliberate wait was it deliberate or did i get lucky i think i got lucky actually Because I think I dropped live on stream. I think I just got lucky. Any of these ready to lock? No. There we go. Ready to lock. We have a truck on a truck. Uh, is there anything on the other thing I want to bring? It's worth bringing... No. Alright. Let's delete those grids. In fact, I might grab some of these steel plate. I do need a few so I can weld up a bit around the garage. And this is a very easy grid to get a whole lot of steel plate from. At least grab a couple of arm loads. Yes, fix up the concrete around the patio, exactly. Just 
Just got all the stuff in the grass there. And I reckon that'll do. Alright, let's delete. Moment's sake. Ramp down. Alright, uh, and back I go. Oh, uh, let's stow the crane, shall we? <laughs> that might be an idea. Now let's drive. I love the auto stow. I'm so glad I set that up. I'm really glad that a lot of people seem to be enjoying playing this style, that it's not just me. Uh, <laughs> Because it could easily just be me that enjoys this. But it seems it seems reasonably like people are having fun. The amount of posts on the Discord of people's builds that they've done uh, with the mod pack, with the scenario, it's been really cool to see. It's been fun. Six kilometers... Alien wood-ish. have seen some some streamers completely butcher the scenario <laughs> I don't think Kanajashi's got the patience for playing this way don't think it's his style of thing I know I had like a whole button set up for this, but I've realized that I can just bully my way into this parking spot. Alright, that's back home. Let's go hunting for some motors. alien. Where's the alien planet? Oh, there it is. That grid was roughly in this direction. Let's see. Cargo is empty. It's like 6k's away. It's probably down in that valley. Could well be that thing. Right there. Right there. Oh, it's another truck. How do the trucks keep spawning like that? Weird. I thought it was meant to be rotated um, randomly. So I'm out here looking for motors. Oh! Oh, no, that probably wouldn't have been smart. 
I was about to say I probably should have attached the thruster to this. So as I repaired it, I just immediately had it ready to go. Oh no, that's definitely rotated differently. That one has landed differently. <laughs> The trouble with grind to learn styles of play is no MES mod is balanced for it. So you'll basically instantly get all the things. There's nothing gating you slowly the way that Escape from Mars does. Uh, and you need that for this play style to work. So that's why I didn't do grind to learn stuff. Because it's a totally different way of uh, balancing. Because instead of making things occasional finds because you're going to need the blocks, you have to make things incredibly rare and one-offs, basically. Grab the computers from these. What you got on you? You the battery one again? Nope, you're a large cargo container. Of those do I really need? I don't think I need any more. Motor out of that. That's sort of it. On the top of that one, eh? Okay. Let's delete. Uh-oh. It's my ramp. Ramp? Ramp? There. And away we go. Yeah, Shadow, that was kind of... That was... Yeah, that is a good summary of it. The Escape from Mars is this style of play, but with scripted encounters and a very clear plan as to what you do, which is awesome. Um, it just... For me, it kind of lacks a bit of the replayability. Once you've done Escape from Mars once, you, you've done it. But you'll never forget it, because it's so cool. This was sort of to take some of the gameplay concepts of that and make them random. So that there's replayability, because you'll find different things each time. And one of the reasons I was willing... Like, I asked people to submit some things to include is that the more grids I have the more variety there is even if it's only minor changes of each type of grid, the more of that there is, the more random your adventure will be and the more variety there will be between each time you do it I added a vehicle spawn to the power lines sometimes, so it's worth checking them out. Because I realised I was ignoring them, so I wanted to make them occasionally worth checking. Uh, except this time not. Though I think this thing has some landing gear which have motors in them. motors have I collected so far? Eight! Wow! It's amazing! It's so many! 
I only need another 40. Let's keep flying. Yeah, Morbus, I a little little things like that are what I know what you mostly notice more only once you start playing is that I made these cool looking grids that you never bother looking at except for the first time because what was the point? It's just a tiny little bit of steel plate. Why would you bother? But now they might now they may be a nice marker for something that is valuable. Here we go. There's that spawn that just got called in. Well timed, Vernsky. What do we have here? I I might show you guys in a minute. I've actually worked on a couple of designs uh, that I'll hopefully be adding to the mod before next week. So we can hopefully find them flying around. One of which is a... Ooh, uh, okay, cool. There's one just at the end of this little valley. Perfect. One of them is a warehouse, which I'm going to rust down, but I've so far built the fresh, clean version. Because the way I've been doing this mostly is I build a clean version of the grid, and then I wreck it for the spawn versions. So I can wreck it multiple times in different ways, starting from something that's fresh and clean. What's in here? Medium cargo. Programmable block. Okay. Uh, do I have materials to repair this? Oh, repair this? I don't have the motors. I have repaired it. Uh, no! Poop. So I mean that would have motors in it. Um. Not you. You have anything in you? No. What about you? Oops. Didn't mean to grind that down again. Nope. What about you? Power cells! Ha 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 ha. Yes. I will take those and I'll be happy. That is a win. What about you? What do you got? What about you? No. You? Nothing. What? Oh. Lame oh. You? Huh. Ammo, I guess. These are all lame-o. Nothing good. Okay. Uh, what is in this truck? A motor. And cryopods. Motor. Thanks, Johnny. Thanks for the prime sub. Motor. Cryopods have motors? They do, but do any of these go dump this stuff? Uh, there is nothing useful you can do with scrap at this stage, no. I haven't done anything with the basic refinery to make it a scrap processor. Okay, that's everything useful that's here. Let's go delete a few things and then we'll go up to the end of the little valley and go to the other grid. Oh wait, what's in here?
Couple of motors. What's down here? How many motors do I have now? Eight. Nineteen. I mean, it's a good number, but I'd like more. See ya, Shadow. Hope you continue enjoying your uh, little break. Hey, Wicker Elf. How's it going? Was sort of just talking about you. Thanks for the prime sub. Um, talking about Escape from Mars and that that was the uh, inspiration behind the way I wanted to do this scrap thing. Uh, for those unfamiliar, Dark Roll was the original author of Escape from Mars, but Wickerell is the reason we've still been able to play it in recent times. Uh, having taken over managing it and making it still work. Very cool. Um, what do we got here? Another medical component. I'll take it. It's been like five years. Yeah, that's crazy. How the time does go. Battery. Uh, I'm going to want to take that. I get impatient with these things sometimes and I'm just like, yeah, nah. Alright, still clear. What have you got in you? Looks like a medium cargo. Means it's a motor and some grids. Nice. And everything is full. Right. I think I'm going to have to throw away some of this ice to keep being able to search. Or maybe I'll get rid of the steel plates, actually. They're really easy to get. Same with interior plate. Let's get rid of those. Should be all I want to take from this, I think. Got the medical component from that. I'll grab the battery. I have not checked all the suspensions. I'll grab this battery first and then I'll land again. Because I want to delete these as well, so... I just thought it would be cheaty to delete them and then have a nice, clear, easy access to a battery. You do, though. You do. You do. And you do.
that looks like it's all the important stuff, though. Grab a couple of computers. Throw away that scrap. And now I delete them. Yes, no motor left behind. Not after I exploded a whole large thruster. Is that observer base that's over there? Is that what I'm seeing? 2.4 k's away? Is that another grid? thing. Yep, it's another little thing. Kill. Cool. I've got lots of medium cargoes back at the hangar, so that's why I'm not worrying about them. And I've also got some large ones, so once I make a heavy lift flyer, then I might put a large cargo on it, so I've got something to carry cargo, rather than just blocks. Every time I do that I'm worried it's going to roll over. Motors. I think since I've got this battery and I've got 30, 23, 31. I'm so close. Thanks mostly, hey well. Thanks for 18 months. still creative? Yes. Thank you for the reminder. Oh, I would cry so hard if I accidentally left it on creative and um, welded up one of the thrusters. Because by my the rules I'm playing with so that I can use it to delete things, I'd then have to get rid of that block. Oof. That would be bad. Oh, here we go. Right in the middle of the valley. What do we have down there? Oh, and something off to the right, which is up on the plateau. Okay. I figure if I punish myself for these things, I might eventually be better at remembering to turn it off. Ah, <laughs> uh, my favourite grid! My favourite! And it's not the one with the three batteries. My favourite grid is this one. The chairs. And the plushie on the bed. <laughs> I love this. I'm so glad this bit works out. It's just... It's just everything I was trying to make with it. Hang on. Ah, uh, it's so good! Um... I'm actually thinking I might wrap up the stream here. I found another three batteries. I'll have to get them back. We'll have to find some more motors, but I may well have enough from this truck for that thruster, so then I can start doing heavy lift stuff with the hot seat. Uh, I will... My next stream won't be Monday. 
my next stream is going to be Tuesday. Uh, the reason I won't be doing my Monday, which is for Europeans and North Americans, the Sunday stream, is that I've actually got to be an examiner at my uni job that I started a little while ago. Uh, and that, e that exam is on Monday during that time slot. Um, so I won't be there on Monday, but I'll be back on Tuesday. Shadow and I are going to do our co-op stuff first, and then I'll be doing more co-op Icarus with Capac. And potentially I'll find a time to do a bonus stream next week where I'll make up a few more grids for this and start working on the Twitch integration pack of things so that we can spawn stuff more than just spawning this, which I think would be kind of cool. Um, so yeah. I'm also going to be trying to get a video out this weekend. We'll see how well I do at that. So keep an eye on the main channel for that. So there's all that and plenty more to come. And I and my little camper van. We'll see you then. Thanks for coming, everybody.